Welcome back guys. In this video, we're going to be checking out Peter McKinnon's Cine Lutz Volume 2. But we're going to be doing something a little bit different as we won't be installing these on a desktop and using them in something like Final Cut or Premiere Pro. We're going to be installing them on the iPad Pro and using them in LumaFusion. So I'm going to need my reading glasses. Okay, so first of all, let's look at how to install these on the iPad or your iPhone. Now, if you look at Peter's website, it specifically says, please do not download these from your mobile phone, use a desktop or laptop computer. Obviously, I completely ignored that, downloaded them straight to my phone, shared them to my iPad, and this is how you install them into LumaFusion. So open your downloads folder, and what you need to do is navigate to the folder that contains the LUTs. And you're gonna to need to install each LUT individually by tapping and holding, and then choosing to share to LumaFusion. So press and hold, choose share and then tap the little LumaFusion icon and then in LumaFusion you'll see that it says presets or LUTs imported and you'll be able to find those in your LUTs folder inside the colour and effects tab in LumaFusion. Okay so once we've installed all the LUTs let's take a look at how they look. Now, the clip I'm using first here has been shot with a GoPro Hero 10 on the flat colour profile. The reason I've chosen this clip is because I imagine a lot of the people watching this channel will be using that type of camera. So let's run through the looks individually, take a look at each one. The first one's called Dawn, and as you can see, it's really contrasty. It's brought out a lot of those colours and a lot of, it's done a lot to the blacks. Next one's Dusk. This has kind of flattened the image out, but it's brought out a really, really nice purpley tone. Look at that sky. Next up we've got Elemental, now this is a really nice typical teal and orange type of look, very contrasty, very punchy. Next up we've got Ember and as the name suggests it's brought out a lot of those amber tones, a really really nice looking, very distinctive, strong looking look. Genesis is the black and white one in the pack and look at that, it's a beautiful black and white, very very cinematic black and white look. Next up we've got Louise, which again, very contrasty. Look at the green that it's brought in that sky there. Okay, next up we've got Moraine, named after the lake from the famous bucket shot. And look at that, that's a typical Peter McKinnon look. Next up we've got one called North. It's very, very vibrant, very cinematic. Next, O'Hara, kind of the flip side to North. The same kind of feel, but very summery. Next up, we've got Overload. And as the name suggests, we've really turned up the saturation here. Very, very punchy, great for social media content. Next, we've got Red October, another very cinematic looking look. Really bringing out the, those teals and oranges. The next one's called Six Side, and this is a very distinctive looking look. Look how it brings out the details in the sky and gives an almost sepia feel to that grass. Okay, next up we've got Skyfall, and as the name suggests, very, very cinematic. Really bringing out the aqua tones in the sky. White Out, it's blown out the skin tones, but the background looks great, probably better suited to landscape. And finally, Wolfswood, which is a really typical Peter McKinnon look. Very, very professional, extremely cinematic, really, really punchy, very distinctive. Okay, so let's take a look at these looks with a couple of other clips. This next clip is shot with an iPhone with Filmic Pro on the flat profile, and it's a shot of Hlandidno Pier in North Wales. This is just before sunset, so we've got some really nice colours in this clip. So let's see what these looks do to this.
third and final clip we're gonna use is shot in Cheshire in the north of England, again using Filmic Pro on the flat color profile. Now this is a landscape shot, shot in slow-mo on a really misty day. And this is where I imagine these looks are really gonna shine. Let's take a look. Okay, so what we've got here is a collection of very distinctive looks. These will be unlike anything else that you'll be able to get anywhere else. They look really, really professional. They're really punchy, really bold. These are what I'd class as statement looks. I think these are particularly suited to creators who are making content for social media or to people who are perhaps documentary filmmakers or making feature films. So if you're shooting really creative stuff like features or creating content for social media, using these looks is going to give your work an immediate, very, very distinctive look and feel. Okay, that's it for now. If you have any questions at all about installing and using these looks, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments. I'll be really happy to answer anything. And as always, thanks so much for watching. See you next time.